You know what this is. It's time for more Karens and Kevins, the crazy, wacky people in our society that somehow decide to make themselves known and are now on cameras everywhere. So they can be seen on shows like this one, like Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. I'm your host, the Australian idiot named Toby, and let's get into the clips. This Karen here believes that this restaurant server is uh, having some form, is being a bit racist towards how he's setting up the seats, trying to racially segregate people inside of this restaurant because half the restaurant has got no, has got empty tables and seats, and one person was sat there while everyone else is being sat in the other section. People are apparently being served out of order of when they get there, so on, so forth. It ends up in this kerfuffle here. No, don't do your job. You do your job. Yeah, well, I'm doing my job right you now. You stop. Okay. okay. You're not doing this one right. You know who was here before. What? This guy oh, this put his right? name on the list. Speak up. Speak up. No, we're not yeah. doing it today. Yeah. Sir, what we're not going to do today is have racist seating in this restaurant. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking at you. Racist seating. These guys are next. And you seat them. Yeah. You seat them? You seat these guys. All right. I'm going to go deal with the actual manager. There is, she is not a manager. She is now. Yeah. 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 And I saw what he was doing and I was like, okay, we're not doing it today. And my friend already knew, so I told him, just go on about your day. <laughs> I gotta go over here and handle this dude. Because what we're not gonna do is play a game with people's time. Because it's the stuff that life is made. It's all we have. Yes, ma'am. Okay? So you're gonna get these guys set. When I get in, 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 in good time. No, not in good time. We're gonna really? Them. Yeah, really. Okay. Really. Okay, you know what? And you know what else? We're gonna send this video to your corporate office. Yes, we are. Because what you've done this evening, I've stood there and watched you. And I waited almost two hours to be sat. And I watched you take care of these tables, these tables, and give them service like no one else was in this restaurant. Now, I know we're in Minneapolis, and I understand what Minneapolis is. But what we're not going to do is play games with people's time. And that's what you're doing. And you nobody stood up to you. And no one has stood up to you tonight. Now, I'm not, my food is on the way out of the kitchen. I'm seated, but I see what you're doing, and it needs to stop. And you make these yeah. people stand in this in this in this area like sardines while all these tables sit open. It makes no sense. You're a man without a plan tonight. You don't have enough staff to sit the whole restaurant. You seat them and you I'm give them doing. a number, and they will wait. But they don't have to stand in here by this cold door, right? You're not well, doing. This makes no you're, sense. With three servers on, and you see how many people are in there. I do, okay. and they were willing to wait, and that's why they stood over here and waited. Right? Yeah, we right? And you have people with have... disabilities out here waiting, and this woman came in after all these people, and you found a way to reason to see her. Her name's right here. Right here. How was she sat before you? She was not here. I stood right there, and I okay. saw when she no, came I in. I can't keep track of who somebody is watching. I know, I know you can't. Else. I know you can't. Okay. But I'm telling you. Who's next? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. Just, just believe me. I'm not here. To, I, I'm, 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 I ask you who's next, so they come up and I'm next. Okay. So okay. this guy, I was sitting right there when he came in. Very big. I was sitting there when she came in. She came in after him. Now he needs to be sat. You're I want to get your reason. And where is Garrett on this list? How is he all the way down here? You're saying that there's only one person came in after you? No one was up here when I came in here, so we all came in here at the same time. I had no way of knowing the But there was no one up here, no one that came in. Right. So, when no one is up here, there's no race involved in it. Why are you judging? Because I've been watching. And I have my thoughts. And you would know how many different times I have thoughts. I have thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts about what you, how you just walked here tonight. I do. And I wasn't going to bother you. I wasn't going to bother you. But I'm a logistics person and I manage a lot of people. And what you've done has been very inefficient and highly ineffective. And utterly inexcusable. Okay? You see that the whole restaurant with mass chaos. You know what? It was mass chaos now. Because you did it because of how you did it. You don't have enough staff. Get these people. Oh, yeah. Let me get it. Don't tell me how to do my job. You don't know what you're doing. So there's a few things when it comes to this one. First off, probably the most interesting thing to keep in mind here is that it's by the most restaurants, depending on the day, won't have all the tables open and available because, you know, they don't have the servers who actually 
cover all those tables. So what looks to be happening here is they're only having one half of the actual restaurant's tables and chairs open because you've only, they've only got three servers and it makes it easier to organize things there. And everyone else just has to wait until one of those sections, those tables are freed up and they can do something there. Furthermore to that, they also seem like it seems like based upon how the list is formed and how this person who apparently only just turned up was immediately able to go in, it seems like there's a very high chance this is one of those things where it's like, hey, you walk up to the front, you let them know you're here, you put down your name and number, and then you just wait outside, maybe in your car or somewhere else, or maybe this is in like a shopping center, this restaurant is, so they're just going out to do other things, waiting for like the timer to go off like the time frame of like 30 minutes until the table's ready or something on those lines and so they've come back and gone in and these other people are like what you weren't here you didn't get here first why are you going in first because they simply just got their name in a lot earlier and they just went out for a bit and that is a thing that some restaurants do follow by so i don't believe this is all intentionally racist and honestly the entire how she carries on a little bit seems to be a bit more of I'm trying to be the victim to get food quicker type deal. But hey, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you think on this one? Here we have a classic example of the Karen's brought out her camera expecting to do something massive with this one. I understand why you can't do these personal conversations on your own time. Okay, I, I'm done. So you need some help over here? I'm not talking to you. You need to get a manager then. And this is all being filmed. Okay. I have got things to do and I need to get out of here. Okay. Listen, ma'am, I don't know what your, what your problem is right now. I told you, I am a customer. You all were talking about weekend plans. That's not what you do on I the don't, clock. I, I don't, you know what, I'm not, I'm done. It was on I'm, film, I'm then done. get a manager. I'm, I'm, I'm Why don't you all just text customer each other? Customer Clearly you all are friends. Why aren't you texting each other? Right that was a customer. No, you were right talking here. to her. It's on film. Ma'am, you got to go. She was asking you what you're doing this weekend. And while I'm up here waiting, you... Where's security? You... you have to go. Yeah, go ahead. Get security. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done talking. Come on. I could care less. No, I'm done talking. Okay, first off, you don't even know proper grammar. The phrase is I couldn't care less. I couldn't so, um, yeah, okay. Well, here. it's too bad I have to inform you about things like this. You, you need to get a manager. This is all on film. I'm not the one causing problems here. Okay, so if if it's true that you have been waiting, like you got to the counter and they were talking amongst themselves about things unrelated to work, and then this is your response to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I just have nothing else aside from just laughing at you because that is just beyond stupid it's not even funny it's like you're not allowed to talk to each other that isn't work related that's not what you do at work you're like the overbearing ceo who thinks that you're, you're elon musk that's there it is you're elon musk who thinks that you should work 12 plus hours a day and you shouldn't have an actual life you should sleep in your company's building and crap along those lines like you don't think someone should have a life outside of work and yes it could be said that, well, you shouldn't be talking about unrelated work things at work, but it's also, uh, you know, we're humans. We're going to talk to people. And what? I don't think we want to talk about work all the damn time, especially when we're at work and sick of it. We're just going to talk about things to pass the time and whilst we're doing our job. It's that simple. This one's a particularly funky clip. Basically what's happened here is this is the third time this person's come to get their hair done at this place here. As m pretty much every single time she's complained about the expense of the actual haircut itself. So this time around, the person decided to call out the client for this exact behavior. Right, but I also know that is not a place I'm willing to spend money on. Right, but like there's also tact, there's tact. Like, I buy art and I get art, but I don't ever go to the artist and say, this shouldn't cost this much because I could do this also. Like, that's not something I would ever do. I wouldn't say that. At or that it's so easy. I would say, this is gorgeous and crap I and wish I could afford. No, that's, that's all you have to say. Like, and usually I do, but usually I will tell them because I feel like they might find value in what I say. I know, say. but this is now the third time you've come and booked an appointment with me and told me I like haircuts, but I don't want to pay you this much money. I and the I, prices are there. They're I right there for you guys. I was doing that. I, just for me at this point, given I have said it before, 
It's 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 the mental block on top of everything but, else. Yes, but I have other stylists in between. If you're like I like I just told you, I mean I'm here to help out everybody, but I have other stylists who will be able to take care of you. When if it's a hard month, we have pay what you can days. So I tell people to stay on social media. So there's days that you can come in you and book. Told me that, and and I never got a notification of those. How do I, need I don't, to make sure? I don't do them that often. I post them on my social media. So I will start sending out emails so that people can because I've only done them twice. I just wanted to see how it worked. Yeah. And they do. People do appreciate because those days. That right. would be awesome. It might end up being a horrible time and I wouldn't be able to make it, but that's on me. Right. All right. All right. But yes. Haircuts can be expensive. Heck, over the past few years, I've watched like the average, like just to get my hair trim, it's gone from, I think it was like 26 bucks a few years ago to now I'm paying like $40, $50 just to get a haircut nowadays. And that's just consistent with pretty much every barber and hairdresser in my local area, as well as driving a little further away, which then has fuel costs and further on and further more. It's just... Like, yeah, it's expensive, but that's just a factor of life. If you don't want to do your hair yourself, which isn't that expensive, it's like what? Here in Australia, 100 bucks for clippers and your partner helping you do that and maybe some decent scissors or something along those lines, depending on how you get your hair cut. It is cheaper to do it yourself if you're willing to go through the effort, but that takes time and effort and also buying the equipment, which isn't that expensive. But again, time and effort. If you want to save time and effort, Expect it to cost a little bit of your money, and haircuts aren't cheap, especially if you want to go for some more unique hairstyles that isn't just simply cutting your hair. Is next we got a we got a pet group of people who are doing a job that they were apparently contracted by the city to do. Don't have any proof on that one, but we're just going to go with it. Who's being harassed by someone in the neighborhood who claims that, regardless of whether you got this contract or not, you're not allowed to be here. Look, uh out. We are licensed by the city, Ow. so I'm we're going to continue knocking. You can call the police, and we'll show them our licenses. And it doesn't make a difference. This is a non-solicity exactly. neighborhood per our covenant restrictions. Yep, and it's the Supreme Court ruled that no HOA can actually put restrictions. And it's you need to go. Exactly. As I mentioned, we are Sir, licensed by really the state. I don't really care, young man. You need to leave. Okay. Hey, ma'am, why are you, you so upset? Leave. Why are you so upset? Because you need are you to okay? leave, and you're arguing with me. Yeah. You need to go. Look, ma'am, we're out here doing our this job, and we job. are licensed by the city, you so go. we're going to continue to do our job, no, you and are that's, that's going to be it. So. No, you are not. You need to go. I will follow you wherever you go. Of course. Out of the neighborhood. If I have to get more of the board members out here to walk you out, I will. Of course. Oh, look, but buddy also said the same thing. It's okay, man. We're licensed, so we're licensed by the city. I don't care. Your dog, though. Who you I do like, like your dog. Anybody can Hey there, baby. Hey there. Come here. Come here. Oh, buddy. Oh, hey there, Come buddy. Here. Come here. Poor Oliver. Clearly, someone's not happy with uh, not being able to control a certain situation and no longer having control over why these people are here, so she just wants to kick them out and it's not working. Oh, well. <laughs> Here you have a camera at Planet Fitness who's upset that someone is taking a little while on the machine that they're using because they're doing multiple sets and when they don't go for a rest they decide to get a staff member involved even though there's multiple other machine. I'm genuinely confused. Hey Karen. And if you don't follow along with the class, you can get out of it. Okay, I would like to start my circuit training. Sadly, I'm still here. That's the thing. It's not like I'm just over here sitting here not doing anything and I'm taking up the machine. I'm over here working out. I can pause and take a longer break if I need to. I come in here all the time. I've never had any issue with nobody except for you, Miss Karen. And I go to all Planet Fitnesses, the ones around where I flew the bill here. I hit all of them. But my thing is you're sitting there specifically waiting for this machine. And there are two other machines that do the same thing. I, but I'm not over here harassing you, though. You coming over here by me. That's the whole thing. See, she's not taking accountability for actions. Like I said, I come in here all the time, no issues. And if I see somebody using the machine, Machine, I either go get on another one no, and I wait. Sorry, I'd like to no, away. well, you need to stop trying to harass people. How about that? Because um, you're not sorry. entitled sorry. just because it's your first day. I, I have one more set, yeah. but see, she didn't ask that. What happened was I was taking a break and she was trying to rush she me off the machine. Four okay. okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm still, I got one more set to do. You're gonna have to do some but you, but you might want to get up by people's face, this. though. How about that? Okay. Can I do my last step? That's all I need to do. Like I said, I don't come in here and cause no issues with nobody. And I've been part of Planet Fitness for years. So this right here is the first time somebody ever tried to roll up on me. I think you're scared to tell you anything. No, ain't nobody scared to tell me nothing. You just being messy now. No, and it ain't gonna work over here. It ain't gonna work over here. 
What do you could have used another machine? Because like I said, you seen her get in my face. I'm over here. I hear whatever. No, you just ain't getting your way today. How about that? Whatever. But like I said, sir, I'm over here on the machine. She over here starting stuff. I understand. Now, so if you can finish your set. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. Going forward, if you want to use the minutes like it, please make sure you follow along. So if I come tomorrow and she does the same thing, are you going to make me wait? You can't rush the person off the machine, ma'am. That's the whole Third, point. Read the rules. That I don't I'm not going to go back and forth with you. I was on the machine because first. I'm not moving because, because you because so you want to rush. That sounds like you're almost comfortable, man. Because, because you're trying to rush. All I want to do is do my I'll last set, and that's it. Yes, man, you're not. Whatever. The there. Who was there? You need to be removed. No, you you being racist, ma'am. Go ahead on with all that. Yes, you are. There. Whatever. You're over here in my face. You're in my face. Sir, but like I said. Because this is a point. Exactly. But the problem is, we're getting into confrontation. I'm not. Am I trying to follow? You're over here in my face. You guys are both. Am I following the rules? You're following the rules, man. How many sessions did you get to do? The thing is, we don't need to be in the middle of this. Because if I'm in front of the frustration, I totally do. So the person who's in the right trying to follow the rules needs to be pushed aside. If you're going to get in another member's face, it's starting to get in a little bit wrong. It's in the wrong because you're not handling the situation. Wow, he's not handling the situation. Explain the rules to her, right? And I'm listening. And I told her she can finish her shit. I'm genuinely confused. I'm sorry. What's the problem here? She uh, was taking too long on the machines to do her sets, uh, even though there's multiple other machines. Like, I'm genuinely confused here. What in the world's actually happening or why this person's upset at this person in the first place? Oh, she's breaking the rules. What rules? You're not allowed to take five. You're not allowed to do long sets on a machine. You have to be quick on them. You have to be rushed off them the moment someone else wants to use those machines. Like, I'm sorry, lady. Don't you have multiple other sets that you could usually would be doing in this session as well? Why wouldn't you go do one of those sets before you go do this? Yeah, I know. Some people like to do their sets in the same particular order every single time. But unfortunately, when you're using a gym that other people use, they're might be cases where the machine you want to use is currently in use by someone else so you're gonna have to skip that one for the time being and come back to it later it's not that hard in fact you've probably wasted far more time getting in this official hustle fit for no reason and ultimately didn't even get your way like that was so dumb so the guy behind the camera was apparently going to the toilet, using the toilet in this business here, and he was taking a bit. It took about 10 minutes, and around 10 minutes in, the workers decided to get him to get out on what was assumed to have been an emergency by the guy behind the camera. It turns out that's not the case, and now this happens. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? I was inside, no, 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 no. and you said, you, you told me you guys have to use it, so I come out you know, in the middle, you see. and I... If you I finish, you use this bathroom. Yes. Then again, you go. I did not finish. He called me out, so I have to get out. You you finish your, your bathroom, you I did finish. not finish how, using how, the bathroom. How many times your bathroom finish? How many times? I it's only ten minutes, and you guys no, called me out. Minutes. No ten minutes. He was there. He can prove it. You okay. Tell, you tell him. You tell him. He how many five minutes. You. No, I did not go inside. I didn't inside for five, 45 minutes. Also, I'm a customer, and you guys should not shout at me. You see, you customer, but how many how time inside you? How I was inside for 10 minutes, and I was, and you guys called me out. I thought you guys have an emergency, so I was get out there in the middle. And I was trying to go back. You guys doing this to me, man. Ain't gonna lie, this is a pretty, uh embarrassing situation for this guy to be in for needing to go to the toilet and then take that long in the toilet i can understand when the workers would be curious and what in the world's taking him so long to go to the toilet in the first place and he might be doing something sketchy in those toilets but at the same time it's like one of those things where you never know why they could still be in the toilet for yeah they could either be cracking a bong or something along those lines or they could be legitimately just needing to go to the toilet for that long of a period of time and ultimately by now annoying them about being there for that long you've just caused a massive embarrassment to the customer themselves who's now very very upset towards you so yeah yeah wow here we've got an angry man with a leaf blower who's complaining about the neighbor who's continuously blowing their leaves out into everyone else's yards. So he's come across the road to take care of this little problem. One more time and we're going to have a personal problem. You can count. It looks like there's one already. No, there is one already. And if you weren't so pussy, you'd do something about it. 
Okay? But what? instead, what you, you blow your do? shit I on there. You off. blow I... your shit on everybody. I didn't blow it on No, anybody. you know what? The county can come and they can talk to that neighbor, that neighbor, anybody. that neighbor, that neighbor, that neighbor, that neighbor. I didn't blow you it blow on anybody. You blow it on to everybody. No, I didn't. Yes, you I do. I just blew it right yeah, out you of the do. bicycle. You're a lying. I just blew it yes, out of the bicycle. Yeah, all totally clean. I've never once have I crossed the yellow line. I don't give a shit. You've gone over to your yard and blown it right Hyper-powered goddamn blower that, that, by the way, is way over the DB limit for the county. I use it once you know or what? twice a year. You know what? Fine. I have the means to take care of you. Okay. I'm not going to put I'm not gonna put up with it. I, if I, I see never, you blow one I more never, goddamn lead I never direction, once. His direction, his direction, I we're never all once. coming for you. I never once. Then goddamn blow the shit into your own corner and pick it up and put it in a trash can. I never once blew it into your Bullshit. yard. Bullshit. I mean, if you're only blowing them out to the bicycle lane of the road, I mean, is it too surprising to believe that those probably end up still going across to the other side of the road based upon the wind? Because, like, when it's in, like, the grass and all that, the wind has a lot harder time picking it up and blowing it around. It will still do that if the wind's going at a high enough speed, but the moment it's on concrete, on flat bitumen, it will start just to be moved so much easier by, you know, the cars that are going past that are producing wind as they go by. And whilst it, you may sit there thinking, going like, oh, but the cars are going, the, are not going towards the houses. Why would the leaves and stuff be tracted that way? Because the, the wind will push them forward and then a vacuum will be created when the car disappears and it will just go further across the road. You've probably seen like plastic bags float across the road somehow even when it's not that windy you see a car drive by a plastic bag and it floats up and flings off to either the left or the right direction because it's just going into where the winds fall it, it's weird in this next clip we got a drunk karen who is having the time of her life doing absolutely nothing at a bar Welcome anymore. I never did nothing for 30 minutes. You've been harassing me for the time. Karen, what's your last name? <laughs> Tell him. Perfect what's your last name, Karen? No, I'm talking to you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard the whole Karen Two thing? Losers. Have and you heard the Karen thing? Have you heard the Karen thing? Have you heard about the Karen thing? guys from the city, so we can't get laid for nothing. Have you heard about the Karen thing, Karen? Have you heard about the Karen thing? There's a oh, Karen. Karen. There's a Karen right Good there. Luck. That's her. That's her. Karen with a capital K lives in Hackensack, pays We're more calling. money than everybody else in We're taxes, calling. apparently. The Bixby's or the Sears <laughs> or the. Uh, <laughs> Tracy. Like all the cops from, a minute, from Walker? You told me to. Yeah. Because you're with me. <laughs> Don't you have something better to do? Oh, um, got an answer machine. Uh, no. Let's go. How's it going? I mean, is there much to say about this clip? I, I'm pretty sure the idea of what happened here was that she was refused service because, well, she's clearly very flipping intoxicated by just how her actions are, how she's slurring everything, how she's just a little woozy on her movement. She's definitely uh, a bit 
drunk to say the least. <laughs> so of course she's been refused service and usually they also attempt to try and get these people to leave from a bar as well because, you know, they don't want them to cause other issues with other customers. So, yeah. Here we got a Karen holding up a line because she's trying to get a bunch of details and stuff because apparently her order was done slightly wrong. It's just some big mess and she decides to hold up the entire drive through Even though it's a broad daylight, she could probably go inside and deal with it a lot easier that way, but here we are. Ma'am, you, you, gotta, you gotta move this car. Just, you can gather that information, but you're holding up everybody else here. Then what you, do you give me the information? I know, but you just you could get it from her. You gotta move uh, your car out of the way. Give it to me. She already has the things. She wants more stuff okay. for five dollars. Hey, can, can you please Whatever. move there was your car? Dollars, just in case you didn't know, and I didn't get a receipt. Yeah, I know, but you're holding up Where's all this traffic. You can get all that. You just get it. Walk out of the car. Her name so I can make the complaint properly. When I make well, what's, complaint, can you give her a name? Yeah, yes. Jessica. Jessica. There you and go. What's the other person's name? What's the other person's name? What's the other person's name? Just give her a name so she can move this car out of here. What's the other person's name? Chiquita. 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 Yeah. C H. How do you spell it? I mean, come on, you can figure it out. Chiquita. How do you spell it? Chiquita. You're you're you're, you're being very rude. You you're being absolutely rude. You're, just being an, uh, you're being absolutely again. rude. How you're holding up all this traffic. That's all right. You are. The cops are coming. No, it's no. not all right. See, move your car. Right. God, just. I don't get these type of people. Okay, maybe this clip was something recorded in like 2020 and it recently has been circulating around. But even then, it's just like, I don't get, okay, A, if this Karen was just supposedly after the names of the employees and the employees just refused to give them their names, even though the Karen's clearly refusing to leave, I don't know why they didn't either give them fake names that didn't match anything, or B, just give them their names so this person can hurry up and get out of the drive through because isn't it like one of those things where you want to get people through a drive through as quick as you can because you don't want people waiting there forever for their meals because, you know, it's meant to be a convenient way to go through? I don't know, it just seems like the Karen is it's just a complete ass, and the employees are. I, I'm a, not 100% sure if they're doing the right thing in the situation, at least to try and get rid of the Karen quicker. I don't know, but still stupid. Here we have an interesting argument going on between the person behind the camera and the person who lives at the house that, well, we're out the front of currently about dog poo and who owns the sidewalk. Uh, I'll explain to you afterwards. Walk, and that's Orange County, that's not yours. But not the sidewalk. And, and wait, question. So why are you blaming me for everybody else's poop? I asked you the same thing. I asked my neighbor. And she okay. understands. Because I, I step the poop every time I come. All I ask. Well, that's, that's. The only thing you got to go through through association, not to me. The, because you have, no, you have no idea how many dog poop I have to pick up every day. Well, then you should as well. You should right, but that's not the right approach. That's, I actually I said, can you please not let your dog, I said, please. Can right. you please not let your dog come here? Because I don't want to blame somebody that is not. So I said, please. Right. I didn't say, oh, but but the, this is this is what this is what happens. I said to my the neighbor, sidewalk belongs to the, the to Orange thing County. I said to my neighbor, right. I asked them politely. I understand, but I'm not gonna go okay. all this way like that and put my dogs in danger if a car comes through. And Just you because you don't allow me to go through that danger. sidewalk, which is not yours. No, first of all, in my this is still my grass. This <laughs> is my grass. That's like me coming. It's okay, Papa. Right it's okay. It's okay. She's not gonna grass. do anything. I like, understand, but that right? sidewalk, it's Orange County or, or Seminole College. Like he, he's not and you threatened me to kick my dogs. I said, do not ever that, say that again. Don't because, tell me this out of my mouth. I'm a grown Okay, man. then don't kick. Don't don't say. Excuse me. I'm grown. I know. Me too. Me too. Please listen. I just moved here, and you're making this experience horrible. I'm making it horrible. So, me? Horrible. Why me? Because when a person asks you something, if I ask, if I'm next door to you and you say, listen. Right, but I'm not next door to you. Regardless, if I'm, I'm not. I'm not that neighbor or that neighbor. By and you say, excuse me, I'm pleased. Can yeah. I not let you go? Out of respect. But I see you. I see you looking at me, puppy. It's okay. Look, when it comes to sidewalks, there's a lot of semantics on how all that actually functions. Like, there's been multiple different occasions over the past year and a bit since I've been doing these videos where I've looked up various different rulings and laws on how sidewalks and stuff like that works in America. And effectively, what those sidewalks are are public easements. Public easements that, whilst yes, technically the land is owned by 
the whoever owns the house and land that the house is sitting on, but the sidewalk and sometimes even the grass strip between the sidewalk and the road is public easement. So area pub, uh, land that is used by the county the state or whatever it ends up being classified under in order to give some public walking space that can be used by anyone in the public. And that's how that goes. And yes, there are people who walk around with their dogs who let them just crap and not pick up after them. And yeah, they, they suck. They suck as people, but just go, whenever you see someone walking a dog and you're just directly blaming them for doing it, it's just not the right way of doing it. Uh, it's a bit silly. I get it, it sucks, but, uh, it, yeah, I get it, it's messy, it sucks, whatever, whatever. But going off at a random person who has a dog is just you. Going right into a fun one, and by fun I mean, my god, that makes me very scared of just flying in general. I'm sure you guys have been aware of all the shenanigans to do with flights, whether it be actual airlines, or whether it just be Boeing themselves. The shenanigans with the door popping out of the plane mid-flight, which are not scary at all, and furthermore to the weirdness with their whistleblower, and then now the executive team stepping down. All that makes and well here's just a, yet another reason why you should probably not worry about flying right now I will call the police okay. how is that the answer how is, that how, how is this we the are busy then come hey then come tell Liar. us you're busy Liar. how did I know we don't how know what's going on just Liar. communicate Liar. Communicate with your employees. Okay, hey, if somebody comes out and says, hey, we're busy, we'll be here. coming out? This isn't even my job. I'm in operation. All good, all good. Who works here like this? Any, any frontier employee could come tell us. Any frontier employee. Yeah, perfectly normal interaction to have with a staff member in the airport where they're losing their shit. <laughs> oh, first off, I, I do kind of feel bad for the guy though, genuinely, because clearly something's ha there's a lot of things happening that he is just unable, is incapable of handling. And considering A, they're short staff, as well as the entire shit show we're flying right now, like... It's probably not been an easy time for this guy, and he's just dealing, swamped with a lot of shit, and obviously lost it, which is not a good thing. You should still try to keep calm in front of customers, but I suppose it's one of those things. There are a subset of men who are, aren't really good with talking with other people. I know that because I'm one of them. Some of them decide to take the moves of uh, looking online and seeing how to pick up girls in public, and then they go do it. Except for they don't know how to handle rejections, so they do dumb stuff like this. I know you've been through a lot, obviously. But, um, I think you should listen to I also think you should listen too. Because when I tell you I really just wanted peace and quiet and eat my food, I really wanted peace and quiet and eat my food. For sure, for sure. I hear that. You hear it, but you're ignoring it. Um, so are you really hearing me, or are you just not listening? Is, like, you just keep giving me more, like... Are you hearing me or are you not listening? So why do you keep talking? Why do I have to shut the fuck up? This is my table that I sat with my friend before you sat down. No, and guess what? Why did you sit down at a table with two girls when you don't know us? Oh, is that weird? Yes. I'm so enjoying it. Good for you. Thank you. Looking salty on Not at all. Why? Do I look bad to you? You look miserable. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay. You look miserable. Not at all. I'm actually really great. No, no, 100%. Like, she could definitely, like, pull off some some nice, like, thing, whatever. But. But what? There are so many other seats for you to sit at. It's so crazy. Why are you so nasty? How am I nasty? I just want to sit and talking. eat. Then, then do that. Just stop talking. I'm not talking to you. Who are you talking to? I'm not talking to you. Who are you I'm talking, talking to? Talking to right Abby, is he talking to you? Yeah, I'm not interested in you anymore. Abby, is he talking to you? I'm not talking. Okay. You're not talking to me. That's all I needed to hear. Okay. 
Yes, because you've been running your mouth. So you shut the f I won't shut the f up until you shut the f up. Look at you. Why you shut the f up? Not at all. But you can't shut But you keep mouth. running your mouth. Look at you. Just let her have the last word. I don't you want to have the last, last word. word. I really just want him to shut the f up no, and eat in it's not winning, it's embarrassing. Come on, what? I can't knock someone for asking, for like doing a pickup line in public. Yeah, maybe in a fast food restaurant, it's kind of silly and it's probably not going to get you anywhere. But hey, you tried. But at the same time, when you get denied slash rejected, uh, maybe you should just move on. There's no need to stand there and continue to embarrass yourself further at the bare minimum or potentially evol evolving the situation to potential harassment because you don't know how to accept no as an answer. You think that because you've got all this courage to daringly ask in public that you deserve a yes, which that's not how the world works, buddy. You, you're going to get denied in a lot of cases and you just got to accept that with grace and move on because... It's dumb to not do that, really. Here we have an interesting situation where this deliverer is refusing to uh, deliver this package because they can't pull into their driveway. I'll just let you watch the clip and let you figure this out. No, you're telling me you don't want to deliver my packages if there's cars in my driveway. I need to be able to pull up and How am I supposed to know when you're coming and not have cars in my driveway? Are you kidding me? Can you talk to her, please? Why she's at my window hollering at me? Because she was yelling at me. That's why I'm recording this I with my phone. I was yelling at you? Yes, you were. Really? You need to take that mail over to Calio because I am not dropping this. That's what you said. I said I'm not with an attitude. Because it don't belong to me. You need to put it back None in the of this mail you belongs to me. That's because fine. They need to but know then the person that's fine. There. And I said, okay, fine. And then you started to tell me um, that you can't deliver. I can't pull up in the gate because there's a truck here. She told me I need to walk from the road. That's what she said. There is, there's room right there. There's room right there. You're telling me you can't drive right there. Watch out the way. Go ahead. Look. So I gotta back up, right? I gotta back up, right? I don't know. You don't know. Your truck is right here. Okay, then you can't drive in the cul-de-sac and turn around? No, I'm supposed to be able to pull up in your gate properly. I'm posting this on the internet. I can't wait to put this. I am. Look, this is this is my driveway, people. Look, look, this is my driveway. You're on my property. Look, you're on my property, and you're telling me you can't get into my driveway. And you're telling me you're not going to deliver my package. Look, if that's truly the policy, then that is some dumb policy, from my understanding. Like, oh, so you can't pull up. Like, onto the driveway, grab the package, walk up to the front door. Like, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world if you're over the technical footpath of the driveway for, like, a minute because you're delivering a package. Like, that's not the end of the world. As well as, I don't get why you can't just park on the side of the road and come up. I've literally, like, delivery vans and stuff here in Australia, They'll sometimes they'll drive up onto the driveway itself and go right up to our doorstep, depending on if there's a car there or not. Sometimes they'll just park in front of the driveway, walk up to the front door, and then go back. It's not something that's meant to be a big issue, because, you know, sometimes there's things in the driveway, because it's not only cars that occupy a driveway. They might have a boat and trailer on the driveway, a camping trailer, or just a trailer in general or other things that don't tend to move that much on the driveway and then furthermore to that there was enough room next to that truck are you that bad at driving you don't know how to maneuver onto a driveway like you just pull in it's like oh so i'm supposed to reverse back now it's like yeah if you like because you went in the corner that way instead of swinging out and swing back in like you should for those type of things yes now you have to reverse and do multiple maneuvers to fix yourself up because you went in the dumb way and then of course instead of actually delivering the package like you meant to she just drove off which is wow 
Here we have a DoorDash deliverer who just received a violation because apparently they failed to deliver food to one of their customers. So they decided to go back to the place where this food was apparently not delivered to, only to find the food was still sitting at the front door. Here's the clip. This bitch Kirsten gonna tell DoorDash she never got her food. Bitch, I had to come back because what the f is this? Kirsten? Yes. Why you said you never got your food on DoorDash? Uh, no, they literally gave me a violation on my account no, because the food that. never got delivered. I'll correct it. I'll, 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 like, I'll do it since you knock on his doors since 8 p.m. Right when I ordered that, I did not. I knocked on like 8 o'clock or something. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I had to go to the back of the store and get some food. Yeah, I didn't leave any type of violation. Yeah, I'm okay, like, well, why y'all got the food sitting outside? Because I was asleep. I mean, like. Okay, like, well, yeah. yeah literally, as soon as I, I left, it said. Okay, okay. No, I'll leave it. I'll, I'll go leave you <laughs> or whatever. But, like, literally, like, I was asleep. Like, we didn't leave no bad review, no nothing like that. I'm not. Okay, well, they already gave me the violation. So, that's what I'm saying. I told them that you did get the food. Okay. So, if they ask you or something, you need to let yeah. them know that you have it. No, I will. I will. Okay. I swear. Thank you. The wow, I mean, it's just one of those things where it, just, it like some people just don't care. They're just like, oh, I can get my money back by saying the food's not delivered and the food can still be out there. Or maybe it is a genuine stuff up and just like, oh, I didn't think of, I didn't hear the knock on the door. I didn't think of checking out of the door. It doesn't like, actually, no, I know it does because I've used DoorDash before about like half a year, a year ago. Like it's been a while since I've last used it. But you know, wouldn't you be watching that app like a hawk so you know where your meal is in this delivery process so like oh yep it's here they're pretty much here let's go to the door to make sure that i can grab it immediately so i can have the food that i ordered because i'm hungry like was she just not watching the app or did she just not actually care so when it was claimed to have been delivered she didn't even bother checking she's just like oh i can get a refund by saying actually it's uh not delivered but then why is it still out the front door and over over an hour later it just seems Seems really stupid to also do that. Like, what, what, what's the point of getting your money back but also not taking your food when it's there and has been delivered? What? In this first clip, we got a Karen getting kicked out of T Mobile. He what? did Nobody push me. He did push right, me. We have cameras. Yeah, you think you okay. want to record? He yes, of course. Can you get out? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Can you call the cops? Can Sebastian call the cops? Call the cops because she's she's playing games. You have her last name. You have her number. You have her whole license. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing your kid. Like, come on, bro. How do you think your kid feels? Like, being an adult. Come on, dog. Like, this is. You got me out here, you're threatening he me on my desk. Yeah, we have cameras. Where did he push you? Because I'm the assistant manager. He just I'm just no, he didn't. He didn't. He pushed me out of the door. No, I didn't. Just yeah, you did. Back. Back. No, you did not open the door for me. That's fine. That's fine. What I'm asking you? And you got in my face. I got in your face? Yes, you did. Okay, that's fine. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you to get out. I'm not asking you. I wouldn't. I'm not asking you. It's not a question. I'm telling you to get out. You're stop talking to me like that. I'm telling you, if you want to talk to me like that, Done nothing but lie to me since I got here. All right, no. The price well, went up every single you. freaking time. I sat here. Lightning, we sat here for three anyone. hours. I've been here respectful with you. You I have not know. been respectful I'm to you me. To get out. I'm, I'm You're not, trying I'm to be respectful, and then you just by got telling me prices and by what telling I you have to pay your bill. I got to pay my bill. I told phone companies work. I'm sorry, boss. Listen, you got I've been here since 2019. I deserve way better. You gotta love this type of thing. It's just like they're telling you to get out, and you're just like, no, 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 no. You didn't. You, you need to be respectful to me. You need to treat me like a human being. It's not the fact that I've been an asshole to you this entire time. No, you've got to treat me with respect despite that. It's like they're asking you to leave. You it's, by standing there and just being an annoyance, you're now being the person who causes the issue. If you just leave, potentially, I don't know, call the cops if you're really that upset, or maybe come back another day and retry and maybe be a lot calmer about these things, you could move on from these problems. Like, come on.
This next one's a very interesting situation. So here's the gist of the story behind here. Basically, American Airlines had this flight that they needed to get some people on. Unfortunately, they couldn't get any people onto it. So they found a collection of people who were going to a certain direction and they saw an opportunity to go like, hey, this is could be used as a form of connection flight for that destination that these guys are going. And they offered them like, hey, would you be kind and go onto this plane for us? We'll supply you with hotels tells and everything you need for your stay in this area for that brief period before you take your flight to your actual destination we'll do this this and this yada 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 like all these types of promises that make that just to make people's lives easier just so they can just so Air, american airways didn't have this one plane having less not be filled to capacity or something on those lines anyway they get to this location and it turns out that actually no they don't want to give them that hotel anymore Hey, Ryan, one more thing. Ryan. Ryan. Okay, Ryan, you've got 15 people here. You've promised a hotel room and you won't even speak with us. This is how American Airlines is going to do. You're not even going to speak with these 15 people here asking you where you're going to let us sleep for the night, Ryan? Wow. American Airlines. Dallas, he promised y'all a hotel room, right? He promised y'all a hotel room? I'm recording all this. He promised y'all a hotel room too? Promise me one. Come here and they would get us a hotel. And there goes Ryan. So can you tell me that one more time? You tell me I... I've already advised you and there's cameras everywhere recording both you and I, okay? Right, good. Now I've got camera recording me too. So you're saying even though y'all promised me a hotel room, I'm here now, you're telling me there's not going to be a motel room that me and my two-year-old granddaughter need to sleep on the airport floor is what you're telling me? And that even Dallas-Fort Worth has plenty of air, I mean, um, hotels, you're not willing to get us a hotel even though you told us you would get us a hotel? Your silence is admission of guilt, ma'am. Okay, so this is how American Airlines run things. Are you going through the same thing, sir? They promised you a hotel, too? Yes. But she told you she didn't want to talk to you, right? No, I'm going to talk to her after your after your Okay, well, I think I'm done here. American Airlines is leaving us in the ho in the airport after promising us they would get us a room. Okay, ma'am, is, is it my turn now? Hello? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. She said she'd talk to you when she got through with me. This is American Airlines customer service. I need to video you, though, real and quick, ad admitting that you heard all of that, because I'm going to sue. I'm going to be honest. I was listening to the man. I was paying attention to the man but you, that was you that did, needed attention for EMS. Right. But you did. I, I heard y'all having a conversation, but I, I was focusing on but the But you man heard that, her say that I was not going to be able to fly out That you weren't going to be punishment. able to fly out, yes. Right. I did hear her say so, that you weren't going to be able to fly out. I, 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 she stuck me in the airport overnight, and now she's telling me I can't take my flight that I'm booked for in the morning because she didn't like the way everybody was mad. I'm not sure exactly why she banned you, but you're banned from this But she flight. told me it was punishment, and you heard her say that, right? I heard something about punishment, but I'm not sure okay. what I was paying attention to. The... So I will need to escort you. Okay, I'm on, I, I need this for my records. Why, why am I being kicked out of the airport? American Airlines banned you from that flight, and you can give them a call. I'm not sure they banned you. From what so where do I... So even though they promised me a hotel room, now they're kicking me out of the airport into the street, and I have to sleep in the street tonight. Okay, so we're just, I just have to escort you to the public site since you no longer have a valid... Okay, well, you got to wait on my entire family. I've got a screenshot of the hotel room they promised us, and then here's the hotel room we got. You like you like our hotel room, Scarlett? Yeah. Yeah? It don't take much to please you, does it? I genuinely just don't know what to say with this one. It's 
kind of wild to f the fact that like they couldn't handle dealing with angry customers because of decisions they had made previously and their decision to not fulfill promises that they had given these customers to the point where they even call in the local police in order to kick them out of the actual airport itself. It's just... I, I don't even know where to begin with that one. It, it's just literally insane that this is how they decide to treat the situation. They make all these promises. They, they go like, hey, you can take this, will you take this fire first? We'll give you, we'll provide you a cool hotel room. Look, here it is here. When you get there, and then they just don't. They just don't. They refuse to talk to the customers properly. They refuse to actually find a way to find a solution to this problem they've now created. Because it's not like it's just like the the family in the TikTok here. There is a quite a few other people who are involved in this situation who are now don't have anywhere to stay this, for this night. And they're just sitting here for a layover that they didn't need to take in the first place. But did because they thought... They, they thought they'd be nice. I, I don't know. I think they'll think twice before doing that ever again. Or oh, we need to fill some seats here. Do you guys want to get your flight a little bit earlier or something along those lines and get a free hotel stay at this place? Yada, yada, yada. Cool, cool. And then just not fulfill that. That's like... It, actually, question. If there was a contract, like, would this be some form of verbal contract of some form potentially? And potentially some form of lawsuit could be involved? Uh, that'd be a messy thing in and of itself, but you know, it's just terrible. Next we have a Karen finding out that being an a-hole at the Rocky Horror Picture Show is not exactly the greatest of ideas. <laughs> You know, if she wasn't what seems to be an older person, this would probably be a bit of a traumatic experience for a person growing up. Genuinely speaking, being like getting all this shit thrown at you, being shat on so bad by everyone else in the theater at the time because of what you did, genuinely should be making you think, oh, maybe I'm actually in the wrong here and maybe I should learn to be better. But considering that she's her age, pro her probable age by how she looks, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. In this clip, a Kevin decides to turn up to a hotel at 5 a.m. in the morning to check into their hotel, even though the check-in time for their room is until 3 p.m. So they're upset that they can't check in just yet. I mean, like I should be able to check in right now, and I can... Right. So the reason we can't get you in until 3 p.m. is because we have to have housekeeping done, and housekeeping has to have time to get through. No, there's not been a holiday. And you guys mm -hmm. are definitely good with your upkeeping of your room. I know there's plenty of rooms right now that have availability. And they'll be ready at 3 p.m. So you, so all these rooms are completely dirty. So you have a dirty hotel. I do have a dirty hotel until the housekeeping gets here and cleans it. Yeah. Unfortunately. What's your name? My name is Nick. Nick what? I don't like to give up my last name. Alright, what's your badge number? A badge? We don't have a badge number, I apologize. Alright, Nick at, at this place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. 
You feel free to grab one of those cards. You can ask management. They'll tell you the same no, thing. No, management's going to decide on it. Okay, uh, a lot of hotels will happily let you check in a little bit earlier than the check-in time if, let's say, you end up getting there like... 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes earlier and the rooms were already ready to go, but turning up almost 12 hours before the check-in time is ridiculously stupid. Especially if you're turning up at 5am in the morning, the room that you've booked might already have someone currently sleeping in there still. Like, w what type of thinking did this person go through to get to this conclusion that they can check in at 5am in the morning even though the, the specified check-in time is 3pm? What? Here we have a very interesting clip and situation occurring. So what's happened here is this guy's on his break from work and he's come to the local Arby's, gone through the drive-thru in order to get some food to eat for on his break. It took them over 15 minutes to serve him and according to what he says, they served multiple people who got there after him before him, so he asked for a refund. Apparently, the manager on site says that Arby's don't give refunds or that she can't do a refund because a general manager isn't in the store. Anyway, here's the clip. So I ordered my food and it took them 15 minutes to get my order. I canceled my order because it took so long to get my order. Nobody came and brought me my order, so I wanted a refund. As soon as I tell them I want a refund, they bring the food. I saw two people behind me go past me. And you're telling me I can't get a refund. And what's your name? Bethany. Bethany. So I can't get a refund, Bethany. I can replace your food. I don't want my food replaced. I just want a refund. I want my money back. Because y'all service was horrible. It took y'all 15 minutes to give me my food. I'm working right now. So I just want a refund. That's all I'm asking for. Just want my money back. I just gave you guys my money, so it shouldn't be that hard to give me my money back. Um, we don't not have a general manager right now. I cannot do a refund for you. Uh, you have a manager, and you're the. Are you the manager? Okay, so if you're the manager, you can give me a refund. Now, if y'all want to go famous on TikTok and make your business go down because you don't want to give me a refund because you don't tell me you can't give me a refund and I don't want the food now. I can replace so, it for you. I don't want my food replaced. I want the money. I want my money back that I just gave y'all literally 15 minutes ago that you had me sitting in this line for. You served two people behind me and I'm not leaving this line until I get my refund. And y'all's line will be backed up. What you say? You gotta be a star. Like this line will be bagged up till I get my refund. Y'all already wasting my time. I'm working. I would never come back to this place again. This woman just told me she couldn't give me a refund. Wasting my time, and now she's going in there getting my money. But she just told yeah, me she couldn't do I'm this. Well, you're definitely going to get more than in trouble. And oh. do what? Do, get out the line and do it. Considering how she would eventually give him a refund in order to get him to go away once she realizes that, oh, he's not going to leave until like give him a refund. I think it's fair to say that, yeah, they could give a refund. She just didn't want to do so for one of many different possible reasons. And I would probably say the more likely reason to this is she didn't want to give a refund because then she would probably have to explain what happened and how we got here to the general manager. And considering it took 15 minutes in order for this person to get their meal in an Arby's that doesn't seem to be that busy, at least what's apparently happening here. I don't know. It, if it took 15 minutes to go through a drive through and multiple other people were pulled through before this guy, even though they came after him, it wouldn't look good on the manager who's here this day. So, yeah. She was trying to see if she can replace the food, even though that's clearly not the thing he was upset about in this situation anymore. In this next clip, we put a Karen Park in a Tesla only car park with her Hyundai. Karen oh, Parks please. in Tesla Take only this. parking spot. I'm not in distress. So security can move and I'll park there, or I'm parking 
Uber because nobody's here. Yes. Okay, I'll Okay, I have to do my, my video. You're disgusting and I'm so sick of these young people who think that they're all bad. There you go, sweetheart. Let's test you. My goodness. Nothing better to do with your time because this is what your your generation does. You go on grinder and do hookups. You show every part of your body. You have no self-respect. Oh my goodness. None whatsoever. Okay, okay. Let's just... No, no, no. Okay. To mind their own business. He, he comes and tries to tell me what I can do. He's not like that. This, there is a silence, right? So, oh well, I'm sorry. I can't see. I can't see. Need to make it bigger. Bigger. Okay, Yours goes up, mine goes up, and you don't have a lot to say. I love how she just goes on this unrelated rant about this entire thing about how the new generation absolutely suck for this, this, and this, and has no relation to the current situation. This clip is quite interesting. So there seems to be a bit of a kerfuffle that has occurred in this Uber ride. And unfortunately, we jump in in the middle of this argument when one of the passengers is whipped out of her phone to record the rest of this incident. I'm just going to let you watch it before I give you my thoughts. Keep it up, please keep it up. I will. Good, keep Respect it up. Respect is earned and deserved. Yeah, but you haven't go given yeah, none. Yeah. Go now, go back to Respect home. is earned. And when are you going to give some, sir? I'm when? Sick, I'm sick and tired of I've you. been in this car for five, for, for 50 minutes. When have you respected me as a passenger? When? I got in here. I asked you because you turned your music so, down. You turned so the shit up even more. Like Nobody you, should you have to so, ask you that. You feel so entitled. Yes, I feel entitled because I'm a passenger. You're a passenger, but this is And this is your car. job. It's not my job. It's your job. It's my car. Be I, I can kick you out of the car anytime I want to. I mean, guess what? I don't work for anybody. Then you do what I you need to do. I don't work for anybody. Please. I work for myself. Okay. Keep on. No, I can, can kick you out of it's my car. Okay. Please, see, no worries. Don't be quarreling with her, please. Just go. Go you like black the, Americans, the you next, feel so entitled. Over what? The next right. Lazy as Oh, yes, yeah. Go get some job. Mm -hmm. You like to live on welfare. My tax money is taking care of you equal if you don't know that. Mm -hmm. oh. Keep it up. Bullshit. Yep. If you're dealing with other persons, I'm don't f shit with me. I'll kick you out. I need to kick you out physically. The first right. My God. You're crazy. The first right, yeah. See, I'm on the phone. I'm following the GPS, and that's what the GPS is telling me to do. And I asked you why you on the phone to make a left turn. I am following if the you GPS, wasn't... and I was so right. What? I, the I GPS right. is wrong sometimes. That's why I'm up and paying attention so I can tell you which way to go. Um, if you have different issues, I'm not responsible for it. If you have issues, I'm not responsible for it. If you're asking who I think is in the wrong in the situation, I genuinely think it's a good mix of both of them. From the sounds of it, there's a high chance the Uber, dri the Uber driver, when they had music on, was told to turn it down, and they may have turned it up, or it could have just it went to a different song that was slightly louder than others. It is a thing. It's a very funny issue. Like, there's some songs that I'll listen to on Spotify that are a lot lower in volume, and I'll have to have the volume a lot higher to hear them nicely, and then there's other songs that are a bit louder in comparison, and that causes issues. Or maybe he did deliberately turn the music up in response to their complaint. That is a bit of a dick move. Whatever. I think the biggest issue that's come here is that instead of just like, yep, cool, we're almost at the end of our drive, let's just sit here and wait and get this over and done with and move on with our lives, you decide to start this argument here for one reason or another, and now you're just getting into a useless argument with your person who's currently driving you to your destination. Because yes, they could just literally kick you out of the car now. They don't have to put up with you. And yes, I get the concerns that GPSs are going to take the wrong directions at times, but the Uber drivers are usually just going to follow the GPS. It's just better for you to sit back and uh, let them go and do their thing, you know? I, 
As I said, I think both sides are on the wrong here. The Uber driver could have handled this a fair bit better, and then there's also the especial dick move. He did deliberately turn his music up in response to being asked to turn it down, but the passengers also has just handled this in a most terrible fashion. Like, I've done Uber recently. I've done Uber driving recently because I did go on a trip like a week ago, and some one guy had music playing. I didn't particularly care. I don't... Like, it's something I just don't care about. I'm just there to be taken to my destination, be done with it. Like, no need to make a big deal out of something that's not worth it. Here we have a casual Karen gang up on a cash register person. I don't get paid as much as you think I do to put up with this. But I think why? My time is valuable too. Then maybe you should find a better job. Maybe you should just find a better job. Don't you tell me refund. what to do. Ma'am, you want your refund? Yeah. Just be quiet and let me do it. Yeah, I will be quiet when I get my money and I can get out of here. You don't have to get out Please do not come back. I will okay, we back. will trespass you. Put your card in, please, right here. It goes back on your card. I cannot give cash refunds. Why are you going to trespass her? You being rude to the customer. What Thank you, you should do is get the store number and call the corporate office. The she's corporate guilty. office. Thank you. The corporate she's office. Very won't good. The That's phone what I do. Don't nobody yeah, deal with that. They won't answer. Corporate, corporate no, will answer. No, they won't answer, but you might not get up. what you need from Here's this store, but stop at another McDonald's and ask. For the corporate number, but you need her name. There you go. You can tell them I'm here. That's the only thing because I don't have a corporate phone number. And um, I don't have to give you money. But I did give you your refund. Unfortunately, again, we've just been dropped in the middle of the conversation by the person recording here. It is actually a thing that really pees me off with some of these clips that we just get dropped in in the middle of an event. We don't know what happened beforehand, but going off of the context of the conversation, we can probably infer that the, the person in the front had made a purchase using a car for some form of food, didn't like it for some reason or another, so asked for a refund. When it was made clear that it was going to be a refund via her card, she wasn't happy with that because she would prefer a cash refund, which, by the way, at least from my understanding, from my existence, where I've been old enough to understand these things, which is give or take about seven, eight years now, There's I've never seen an instance where you've paid for something with a card and gotten a cash refund. It's always refunded back to your card. Like, because, you know, th th that's just how that works. <laughs> like, it does, it, it's like, for them doing that is better because if you give a cash refund for something that was purchased with cards, it screws with the numbers and whoever has to count the register later will have to account for that weird mess that's like, oh, there's this much mo cash unaccounted for now. Why is that? Oh, they need a cash refund. Well, that's stupid. Anyway, it looks like this person almost made it out with no more issues until Karen 2 behind... Karen 2 Electric Boogaloo behind her decided to pipe in and say, Oh, you can call corporate because, you know, she threatened to trespass you. She threatened to do this. She's been rude to you as a customer. It's like, what, if you do this all the time, are you the Karen who calls for the manager every time you go to McDonald's? Is that who you are? Here we have an interesting one where uh, it clearly shows that the, the uh, workers here aren't really paying too much attention to the window here. So when a customer calls out saying, hey, I'd like to get served, please, or something along those lines, and they don't hear it, it ends in this little interesting kerfuffle here, which is quite funny, the response the employee gives. I open up this window right here. I said, hey, guys, and they're still sitting there having a conversation. And nobody oh, she opened the window. And said, Hi, how may I help you? Oh. How may I help you? But we just so, sat in here. It's a window. <laughs> she said it's a window. <laughs> you ready? No, that didn't. Wow. No, that didn't. Okay. You said you'll be ready when you tell us. What the? Are you the manager? Are, Are you, you the manager, no. sir? Wait, that's not okay. Is he the manager? It is. It's not. It's not. But I can't. It's What's not his okay. name? What's his name? That's not okay. What's his name? That's not the okay. What's his name? That's not okay. What's the manager's name, ma'am? Can you give us his name, please? Are you serious? I'm not the manager. I said, what is, what, is oh, what is his name? No, I want to know. What is his name, ma'am? You're rude too, ma'am. What is, what is what are their names? Like, yeah, I want both this of them. Is not it. This is not it. I want your name because I asked you for your manager's name. I can't give you my manager's 
Really? What policy is that? Because I'm going to show this to the, to the, the big time people. It's a, I, I can help you. Okay. I can help you. No, okay. I want you to help I me. I want to talk to her for a minute. May I mean, you could probably guarantee that the worker might have, may or may not have gotten told off a bit by the manager after this action. Because yes, I get it. It is one of those things where you have people being dicks like this outside the window and it's just like, you'd want to just like, ah, I'll let you know when I'm ready to serve you. Close the door type deal. Like when they say, so are you ready to serve me yet? It is a funny, smart ass response to have. But at the same time, your job's to serve them. That they're waiting. They've been waiting there for at least a minute now. Yes, they're being a bit dicks about how they're choosing to approach the entire thing. But at the same time, you know, just do your job. <laughs> I do love how the other worker wasn't willing to sell them out, though. Like, that that's true teamwork here. Prior to this clip recording, the one of the female friends in this group had, came into the this pizza place, I'm assuming, it looks to be a pizza place, came in and asked if she could borrow the toilets, and she was let go and allowed to go to the toilets. A few moments later, when she comes out of the toilet and the rest of the group appears, they also try to go to the toilet too, but at that point, the workers refuse letting any of them go to the toilet, so then we have this kerfuffle here. All the no, they didn't. No, they moved the. No, stay, stay. No, they moved the. Is there a reason? Is there a reason he cannot go to the bathroom? Yeah. You just want to go to the bathroom. They closed it. Can he go to the bathroom? Do you see the sign? So how could she go to the bathroom? being racist. How, so right how, could, how could she go? How could she go? go. Don't ask me questions. How could she go to the bathroom? How could she go to the bathroom then? How, so it's only out of service for certain people? How could she go to the bathroom then? You don't want to answer it. How could, how could she? How could she go to the bathroom? He doesn't want to answer. How many bucks do you take, bro? I got money. You're not supposed to be here. If Ooh. the cops came, they will arrest you. You know that, right? For what? That's your dress what are they going to do? Arrest us too? For what? Let them arrest us then. Wait, for what? For what? He, they can arrest us, right, Grace? No way. Calm down. They can arrest us. For what? For what? For what? You guys being racist and harassing us. You gotta go. You let our blonde. You gotta go. You're dressed best. You gotta go. So how how can one person go to the bathroom but not the other? Because he's black, he can't go to the bathroom. Yeah. But the white girl can. You let her. You don't want to answer. You let the white girl go to the bathroom. Oh wait, but she could go though. Yeah. He just but she could go. But not him. But so he she can. can go, but not him. But he cannot. That's interesting. Why can't why you just let is. him go to the bathroom? I really like that he's taping it because it's like really important. For so she can go to the bathroom because she's a white blonde girl, but he can't. So make it make sense. Make the math math. I'm sorry. Listen, you think. Right, right. He let you go to the bathroom, he won't let him. At all. It makes no, no sense. Yeah, he won't let him go to the bathroom, but he let my sister go. Let me use the rest of the movie. Man, you gotta go, man. Close, right? Hey, you gotta go, man. Hey, you gotta go. 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 Excuse me. I actually do. I'm a security guard. You're letting me go to the bathroom and not him? There's no bathroom in here. I already went. There's no bathroom in here. Yes, they moved the garbage can so I go to the bathroom. I'm not the bathroom is closed. I'm sorry. Do you understand? Do you understand or not? Why could she go though? Because if you're going to That's fine. Are you serious right now? Bryce has nothing to do with this. He would not let him go to the bathroom. Please. He just tried to order a slice of pizza Please. outside. He tried Please. to order food here. Okay, I'm not worried about... I can do what I want. Okay. I can... 
Thank you. Can you step outside and do whatever you want, please? Thank it's a free you. country. It is. Definitely. Come on, y'all please step outside. Are those are your people that like, not my people. What are you I'm talking sorry. about? Them exactly. Not my people. Now you're putting races to it. Oh, yeah. They're not my people. My sister's in there. So funny. Hey, hey, they ain't no I'm off of I'm off y'all shit. Hey, you feel me? Hey, we, we just waiting on some aid. Hey, let it go, 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 it's okay. Let it go, it's okay. Let it go. No. It's okay, I understand. I'm mad too. No, I'm recording. I'm like, That's stupid. They let her go to the bathroom. Let's take it up. So the second they tell me. What the fuck? That's what you mean. We got on video. I'm sorry. I said it. That's not a piece of plate. That's what I said. They made her buy something first to use the bathroom. I was confused at first with this clip's existence, but slowly as I watched through the entire thing over the first running, it started to click, and I think it's as simple as this. I don't think racism, ha racism has anything to do with it. It's something worse. The I'm going, I think, based upon how this clip's being said, is that the friend who need the sister of the person who's recording, who went to the toilet first, might have gotten to this place a little bit ahead of the rest of the group, and so was let in to go to the toilet that is there for the staff members. That's why there wouldn't be any form of gender separated tours because there's probably just one or two tours out the back for use for the staff members whenever they need it. Hence the reason why the garbage can would have had to be moved and they would have had to go through that weird way to get to the tour. And that's also why the supposed security guard at the end would have no idea of the tour existing there in the first place. Because it's a tour that's probably only meant for the staff to be used and that's it. So I'm assuming that the the person who managed to go to the toilet got here slightly ahead of the group and was let to go to the toilet because the worker who she talked to either A, decided to be nice to a woman, or B, kind of liked the look of the woman and decided to be nice, or some various other reasons why. It, but mostly relating to the fact that she is a good-looking woman and the person behind the counter is like, ooh, I want to be nice to this person. You, you know how it is, right? You get what I'm trying to get over here. And then when the rest of the group appears, he doesn't have the same motivation to let them through, so it's like, nah, I'm sorry, it's out of order, we can't use it. When in reality, none of them should have been able to use that toilet in the first place because it's not one that is usable for the customers. It's one that's out the back, meant to be used for the staff members of the place because there's been I worked at a butcher shop about three four years ago and they had a similar thing where there was public toilets in the main in the whole building itself but you required to get a key from one of the various workplaces to go and use it but the actual butcher shop itself did have a single toilet out the back that would be used occasionally by the workers in the middle of a shift but beyond that would usually not get used too often. There would be a very rare occasion where a customer is allowed to use it because the other ones were out of order or something along those lines, but usually no one should be using that aside from the workers when it's absolutely necessary type deal. And that's probably what this is here. It's still very wrong that the entire situation was handled the way it was handled and clearly the person who let the girl go to the toilet in the first place was just like not willing to acknowledge the main reason why he did that but I mean that's what people are they're pretty crazy they're pretty whack at times and considering you're in the middle of a big city Personally, after I realized that this worker wasn't going to budge, I would have just personally moved on and felt it's just not worth the effort. This person's clearly not going to change their mind. Heck, you got pushed out anyway, so you wasted all this time when someone apparently needed to go to the toilet over something that, yeah, it was a TikTok that I'm now watching here and talking about, but ultimately isn't much more than that. Next, we have a worker who's clearly having a bad day and loses it at a customer who's trying to shove a camera in her face. Cause she's acting like everybody's against her. Three thirty. Yeah. Else? I thought when this thing come on, you'll hold your composure. I yeah. I don't care what you do. Take pictures. Put them on the internet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ordered a number four. Why are you throwing me my change? Egg biscuit, sir. Why are you throwing me my change, man? I did not throw you your change. Did I throw that man his change, Kador? Be honest. <laughs> But I didn't throw my purpose is not to get you. And, uh, I come back on my lunch period at 12. Have, She'll be here at 12. No my purpose is not to get you fired, but you need an attitude check. 
I didn't have an attitude. Yes, you do. You, you still got going back and forth. Because I try to tell you it was with the I got this whole store as a witness. I don't care what you got, okay? Uh, but I was just trying to tell you what uh, number four was. was. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have a nice I'll day. Get the f out of my face. I'm off the clock now. <laughs> bye bye. Stupid motherfucker. Thank you. And I'm off the clock. You get in the whack doing that shit to me. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. You know what I'm going to say for this one? Both sides of this entire interaction are on the wrong. The person who's recording is just being a bit of an asshole about it. Not only is he just trying to harass the worker post after whatever happened happened, she's just continuing to follow the person around when they're trying to leave, shoving the camera in their face as they're exiting. It's just a horrible thing to do as a person. Like, why are you doing that? Clearly, she's having a very bad day, and you're just being a bit of an ass about it. Again, the worker shouldn't be acting like that either. You should at least try to maintain your cool. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't treat people like garbage, but that goes both ways here. I don't know, it's... Jesus. <laughs> In this next clip, we have a Kevin just being a continuous annoyance to his neighbor. What you're doing, you're sneaking up the wood over here, you're cutting it up and then no, you're no. putting it up in the car. I can do whatever I want, I'm allowed to cut wood. No, you're not. You sure? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I, 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 I already talked to the village. You can call Patrick. You can call anybody you want, but I'm allowed to cut wood. I have a big giant truckload coming in a half hour. I'm going to fill up the whole fucking yard. Wow. Great. That's good wood. That's all. Man, this guy's one funny guy. I honestly want to see half the interactions he's had with this guy over the past 10 years because clearly, if this one's kind of funny as it is, there's obviously been a few more interactions like this over the past 10 years. In the next clip, we've got a Karen from Subway trying to take us back to elementary. Hey, Karen, do you want to stop making fun of people's uh, knowledge I'm not making things? fun of people. I don't care if you videotape me. Okay, you well, probably can't to. count either. Four I can count. I think being rude isn't going to help with anything for Karen. I, I gave her the extra money because yeah. I didn't want all that change back. Yeah. And I still don't want the change back. Well, just relax, Karen. Just relax, Karen. Everything's going to be okay. My name is not Karen. Well, you're asshole. acting like one. Have a good day, Karen. <laughs> Being rude isn't going to help with anything, sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart, trust me. <laughs> I like your pants. I suppose it may be too much for the Karen to understand that some people may just simply struggle in certain aspects of knowledge just because that's just how they are. There's not much they can do about that. But yeah, nice pants. <laughs> in this next clip, we've got a Karen who's losing her mind over her Macca's meal. Wait, hold on a moment. That's the Australian word. McDonald's meal. Angry Karen wants her meal. You know, it's probably one of the best things they've ever put in any form of retail store, those big f 
off plastic screens everywhere. Like, they're so annoying to deal with half the time, especially when they first came into practice. But my god, they save so many certain issues. In the next clip, we got our favorite fisherman dealing with Karens yet again. Jeez. Man, you just don't give up, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, you already went viral before. You're gonna go viral again. Here we go. Big problem. Man's just peacefully fishing, minding his own business, and this guy is just like, What? You don't have any right to be here. What the hell are you doing? You're just being a bit of an annoyance about it. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who can't help but to slap herself over and over again over an emotional support animal. Yeah. So there's a few things here, and I just want to start off with how many times did she slap herself in that clip? It's just like just one of those things, just slap, 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 slap. She's just so angry about this that she's just slapping herself continuously whilst on a phone call. Like, it's just like expressing anger. Secondly, the Karen is kind of right. Emotional support animals are technically not allowed inside of malls and restaurants, but... In this case here, the manager of the store has given the A-OK, -okay, so because it's a private business and not a public place, the manager has given an A-OK -okay to this, there is nothing wrong with it. Granted, there might be some rulings that curb that, but it, it the manager's okay with it. it. It's one of those things where you're just causing a mess for no good reason. You're technically in the right and the law, but then also, the manager of this private business has given the A-OK. -okay. So, you're kind of at a loss here, Karen. You should just give up and move on. So this guy's got a massive big buff truck and he's parked in a parking space that seems to be perfectly fine. And right now he's letting his car run because his daughter is in the back of the car sleeping. And rather than wake the daughter up and have to deal with whatever mess that that causes, they've just left the get car going because the aircon's gonna be running and she can be perfectly fine inside the car while one of the parents go in and do what they need to do and what they're here for. Meanwhile, we have this Karen here is in one of the other cars who comes in to Go on a rampage about them doing that. I came over here because it was quiet. Because there was nobody here. And you come up here with your gas guzzling piece of shit. And the exhaust is spewing everywhere. Hey, don't you just swear in front of my Shut daughter. Get out. Hey. You're Get out. Here. You're Get out. out. Cheryl. You're now. You better step back. Cheryl. Now. Cheryl. Yes. Cheryl, don't. Don't even, touch me. Waving for you. don't even touch me. Okay? Step I back. didn't touch you. 
I'm yes. just asking you to be pleasant and courteous, and you guys aren't willing to. That's all. I I'm backed up. For. I backed up. Where's your exhaust pipe? The wind is blowing in this direction. There won't be windows. Why is the god car on? Because my daughter is in here, and well, I get the air. Your own windows down. What's the matter with you? You got to make that much pollution. Is it your right to make that much pollution with this god? Anyway, and then you gotta sit in a parking lot. You gotta sit in a parking lot with the car going, and you're laughing because you're mindless and you're ignorant because you have no care about anybody else but yourself. What do you do for a living? Marketing. What do you do? What do you do? Marketing. What do you marketing. do? Marketing. There you go. And you need this vehicle for your marketing, don't you? Oh, I also have a farm, but uh -huh. that's okay. You I have need horses. This vehicle for your marketing. It's what are you? Irresponsible. Irresponsible. I'm sick of that. Okay, then like you, you. Mindless, ignorant, irresponsible, and inconsiderate. Okay. And you got two kids, and now you're going to train them to be the same way. Not ridiculous and fat and obnoxious and ugly. And you know that she's not in a parking spot. She's complaining about the exhaust of the drugs. Cheryl? You know what? You're so ignorant because you can, and I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. That's how you can tell what you want, okay? Obviously, you're not educated. Obviously, you're so crazy and intelligent. Obviously, you aren't able to just answer a simple request from another human being. Cheryl. Please turn off the car so I don't have to breathe the exhaust. That's all that's happening here. You. If you've watched any of my videos from a few months ago, you probably already are very aware how much I have a heavy disdain towards these big massive vehicles, if you don't have a genuine reason for having them. Because a lot of people like just having them because they're big vehicles for some reason. But pushing all that aside, this guy has a genuine reason to keep his car running. His daughter is currently asleep, and we all know with young kids, if you wake them up, they're going to crack the shites. They're going to be the most pissiest person you ever have seen if you wake them up in the middle of their beauty sleep. So, in this situation here, the parents thought it'd be the bright idea to leave the car running so the aircon was still running for their child that's in the back. Now, it apparently was suggested they could have wind the windows down, but no, that doesn't really help in most situations. Yeah, you can wind the windows down, but it's still going to get semi-hot in the vehicle in the first place because it's still pretty closed off. Windows work for keeping a, play a vehicle cool when you're moving because there's wind pushing cold air in there. It doesn't work anywhere near as well when you're idle. Again, I can understand why the windows weren't put down. They had the aircon on to keep the kid cool while they whilst one of them did what they needed to do. All in all, yes, I probably wouldn't approve of idling in something that consumes fuel like it's no tomorrow in a car parking lot, but at the same time, I can understand why. So, Karen, shut the cup and go home. This clip requires a bit of storytelling about what's actually occurring here because it's not 100% clear. So basically, what's happening here, it looks like the boss and one of his employees has gone out for a business trip to go to the shops to buy some stuff for the business. The boss was doing his own thing whilst the other guy was making purchases. He went to the toilet and when he came back out, he was holding his pants up in a weird way. So the employees of the shop thought he was stealing and apparently asked him to empty out his pockets. After hearing this, the boss has come inside to find out what happened, and here's what happens next. How you doing? You the manager? Yeah. Yeah, my name's James Martin. Uh, that, one of the guys that works for me just got accused of stealing in here, and we're trying to figure out what, what the problem is, because I mean, I was going to go ahead and call the check security cameras, because the man was right with me. He didn't steal nothing. Okay, we're just, we're, one of the employees said that he had, she had, looked like he had something in his clutch over her ass. Okay, have y'all called the cops yet, or? No. <laughs> okay, uh, so we'll do that. Um, but who's the employee that seen him steal something? Well, she, she said she had talked. This lady right here? Yeah, he walked out with her. Okay, what's her name? Summer. Miss Summers? Summer. Summer. Summer? Yeah. Okay, I'll go over and talk to her real quick. Let me, uh, because I'll call her myself real fast just because I want to get that checked out. Good job. Good job. How you doing, buddy? All right, you? Good. Six, 12. Hi. Oh, that's Hi. 12, but... Okay. How are you? Good. Hi. Yeah, I want to start. You want to see one of my employees stealing? Um, he came in like three or four times, and then he asked for the bathroom. Yes. And he came out and he had something. It looked like he had something. Probably holding up his pants. Well, did you see him take something? You sold. You had him empty his pocket and stuff. I, Is that right? I'm sorry. I. I'm, I didn't ask him or anything. I told somebody that I saw him what, what? looking like he was. Paying. 
Well, did, did I, I'm carrying a pocket knife and a wallet. Did you think that was necessary to check me? It's a way you left for okay, I'm well, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not comfortable Look, here's the, here's the thing. You this just, man. You just freaking named me that I just accused somebody. I'm not okay with this. You need to back off, bro. I'll stand by the boss. Not a problem. Yeah. But anyway, with her accusing my employees, an issue. Now she just says she only did it because he had his hand like this. It looked like he had something in his jacket. Okay. Um, ha. I think it's one of those things where if, like, the way he was apparently holding his pants, according to what is said by the cash register person here, I can understand questioning it. But... Considering how this entire thing is treated after the fact, I feel like more happened to the other guy when they accused him of stealing. It wasn't just simply like, hey, uh, why are you holding your arms like that? You trying to hide something? Like, what, what's up with that? And he could just be honest, yada, yada, yada. That story could be done with. But obviously, in this situation here, things had to be escalated for some reason or another. And now the boss has come inside to query, what in the world? What are you doing? Why has this happened? Can you help me understand why we've gotten here? And it's a very weird to see that in response, the manager's like, oh, just, just ask my employee, basically, trying to throw the employee under the bus. And instead of just being honest, like, she did tell the story but also decided to try and throw the guy away the moment she could as well which is weird like i i'm personally if her story is true that yeah he was holding his pants in a very weird fashion it did look like he could possibly be hiding something and yeah i asked hey find anything and then apologize when you found out you're not i i think that would have been the end of the story there if you had just said that if you did more then you're stupid and what we here see here is you don't respond in the greatest way either, so nice one. With this clip, basically the uh, person behind the camera was recently stay recently stayed at this hotel. We don't know how long ago this was, but when they stayed and left, they accidentally left a bunch of clothes there. And fast forward to now, basically it was put in the lost and found for a temporary amount of time. And one of the employees said, yep, we'll make sure it stays here until the 15th or the 16th, which is the time you said you'd get here. And on the 15th, it turns out that someone else has thrown those clothes out. Out, and now we have this clip here. That you threw my clothes away, yes or no? He did it. So your did. employee, to your employee told she me on the phone. To... Okay, so she just so I know, to... your employee told me on the phone yesterday. I assure you, we'll keep your clothes until you come on the fifteenth or sixteenth. So you're saying on the fifteenth, you knew I was coming and you threw them away. I didn't know. I we didn't know. But did you? We didn't know. We didn't None know. of us. But you're a housekeeper, we right? Yes. And you took my clothes I'm one by one and them threw them away. We're not supposed to keep them So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you think it's a big coincidence? Did you, I don't you we, think we, it's a coincidence that on the 15th know. you threw my clothes um, away? It's a coincidence, all right, because we didn't it's know. It's just a big coincidence that we on the know. same day that I was Why coming to get him, you threw him away? Just go on the, uh, go ahead and file the report, so apologize, do whatever you want to do. And then this many weeks we kept, she did not come. So until, not I'm not, I don't live here, sir. How can I come here? What can I do for that? I don't know if it's just me, but when it comes to leaving hotels after my stay there, I'm a bit of a paranoid person who just double checks, triple checks, quadruple checks that I haven't left anything behind. Checking all the drawers, all the rooms, everywhere to make sure that I've got everything that is mine packed up and ready to go so I don't have a case like this happens. Obviously, there's going to be times where that happens. Now, unfortunately, um, we don't really have a good time scale on how long the content supposedly stayed in the lost property section. Now, according to the housekeeper here, it was there longer than what they usually would keep stuff in housekeep in the lost and prop, the lost and found section, or wherever they hold this stuff. So it either seems to me that the person who said that they'll make sure it stays there has failed to do their job properly and failed to make sure this stuff was put aside and had something marking that, hey, it will be collected on this day or this day. If it hasn't been collected by the end of this day, then feel free to get rid of it type deal or something along those lines. Unfortunately, in this case, it's been thrown out, whether it be because that wasn't done, where there wasn't, it wasn't put aside and marked it, hey, they're coming to get this, they'll be getting it in this day, or whether it just be that it did, was there for too long and the housekeeper just didn't care anymore because, you know, it's been there for long enough that it shouldn't be there anymore. 
it also just leads me to ask the question is like, would a hotel off like if you were to pay for the shipping, wouldn't they offer just to send it to your address type deal? Like, I know that that can occur with luggage where that gets missing throughout a flight. They will, if they find it, they will send it to your address if you query them for it. So, wouldn't that happen in this situation here? Again, I've never had this type of thing where I've left something behind and wanted it back. So, I've never been through the experience. So, yeah, I guess I'll just ask, what are your thoughts in the comments down below? Here we have a guy finding probably the funniest way to quit Starbucks Target. Well... Seems like it's unplugged, so... Attention, Target shoppers! Consider this my grande exit. You see, I've been brewing up something more than thankless lattes and overpriced sugar water. My grande... <laughs> my grande plan to escape this wretched heat dungeon of soulless, fluorescent lights and infant crying ambiance. But... Before I go, let's talk about your piss poor benefits policy. I mean, it's like ordering a large frappuccino with a double shot of disappointment. Sick time, vacation hours, ha! You'd be better off asking for unicorn tears. Well, how's this for a magical double shot? I quit. Mwah, no bars. I mean, good on you. If this is, like, if they've truly screwed you over, which, from my understanding of just how American capitalism tends to roll in a lot of times, and just the severe lack of workers' rights that exist there in a lot of cases, I wouldn't be too surprised. So, yeah, good on you for getting out of that. Hopefully, the next job you go to will be better. Heck, hopefully you're employed for yourself. That's even better for you, because now you're in control of your own nonsense. But you probably won't have that much benefits anymore. But hey, you work for yourself. You're your own boss. Seeing clips like this, though, just makes me a little bit more thankful to be living in Australia. Like, whilst I've now, more recently, have left the main workforce to do this stuff full time, if you didn't know. Actually, I wouldn't have said it anywhere. But yeah, I'm an ex-retail worker. Anyway, moving along from that, it's like one of those things where if you, the company was to screw you out of your vac your paid leave because you're a part-time worker, you just throw it to fair work. Fair Work would do most of the work for you. They'll do the investigation. Nine times out of ten, especially if it's a big company, they'll just want this case to be thrown out and be done with. So they'll just give you the the hush money to shut up and move on with your life, which is usually somewhere in the region of five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. Because you know most big companies wouldn't want this type of thing to become like a big news story. They just want you to shut up, take some money, and move on because it'll be cheaper that way. I swear, when I'm sick, I either talk for way longer, or I just talk slower, so, or less condensed. I don't know. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who is apparently acting like a nuisance inside the store, and now is being asked to leave, but absolutely refuses to do so. Look behind you, get trust I'm signs up all over the building. I have the recite to refuse service to anyone. I'll wait and tell him. You're the one's the problem, not me. No, He's the one crazy. Me in my face. I know one spit on you. Just support it. I'm gonna move you out. I have the option to move you. I want you to get off. I can physically move you if I want you out. No, you can't. I'm gonna give you one more opportunity. You guys hear me? This is crazy. I'm not shoving you. I'm just gonna move you out of the building. Don't stand in the building. You're touching my merchandise. Stop shoving me! Get out of the building. Stop shoving me! Stop shoving me! Stop shoving me! Right here. I'm not shoving me. Keep it right here. That's all I'm asking you to do is wait right here. That's it. Not I'm gonna call not... them and tell them you They're picked coming. me up and you took me out. I did. Yes. I asked them. And I'm gonna tell them that. I asked the officer already. Right. No, you cannot touch me. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, it's assault. No, you cannot go inside there. It's assault. You're not coming inside. Here he is, right here. Here's the officer. Good. Hey, Spencer. Go ahead. Hey, Spencer. <laughs> Yeah, His I friend got over here spit in my face. I never spit it. in your face. Said, I have his This photo. lady came in and just started going crazy no, on this guy. He she came me in the gym, started cussing at all of it. No, all of I did not. That's wrong. We asked her to move. She would not I leave. Did not I called you. I did not All cuss. I did was pick her up by her body and I moved her outside. He assaulted her. me. I did not assault her. He either. pushed me. Do you have someone coming down here, dude? Sure. Yeah, I've got a guy coming right here. Good. Hey, John, could you come down here too? Yes. 
I absolutely love how you can le hear the laughter of the police guy in the background off of the phone just by the entire situation. He's just like, <laughs> just off of the phone. It's hilarious. I don't know. I don't get why people act like children like this sometimes. It really it never makes any sense to me. I understand some people are just so entitled to get what they want that when they're told no, they just act childish until they get what they want. But it just, it just drives me insane how we have people like this in this day and age, buddy. In this next clue, we got a Karen who's loud enough to be understood. Well, I mean, at least I can understand what the hell you're trying to go on about, but it still confuses me. Or oh, this contract that you're under, your family's contract you're under, there's no way you live with that salary or whatever the f Like, it genuinely perplexes me. What is her thought process on that entire thing? What, like, from what I can gather, what does it fucking matter to you on how much another person earns in a different job that is no way in relation to you? You're literally just a customer. And yes, it's not illegal to yell, it's very, very disrespectful. And then slamming your hands on the other people's property that is potentially illegal especially if you do end up causing some possible damage. Here we have a couple who's not quite great at ordering things through the drive through stumble a little bit, get things slightly wrong, but correct themselves, and the manager decides to be a bit sassy about that issue, and then when they get through the drive through query what was that, she goes off even more and then cancels their order. Hi, how are you today? Who was who was talking to us back there? Do you have a question? About, a different question? About somebody saying you don't have to be this difficult? It doesn't have to be that difficult to order a sandwich. There's a way to order it and it just confuses the cooks in the front. It's just so a if I don't if I don't want my sandwich with everything on it, we're not you just allowed to. say that at the beginning? Because when they put it in, it, it's all, it already prompts up to the front. Everything you say back there goes all the way to that front. So it just confuses them. So they start making it with everything on it and then you say you don't want it and you just want bacon. So it confuses the cooks. Okay, the but there's a, nice, there's a nicer way. And bacon. Okay, but there's a nicer way to say stuff. And there's a what, proper way to order food. So All by right. The same if you don't want your job, if you don't want your job, just quit. Ma'am, if you don't know how to order food, then go somewhere else. Don't play with me. Ma'am, don't play with me. I'm not gonna go ahead and pay. For, go ahead here. Take your card. Cancel that order that's coming up. Take your card, please. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Yep. You too. Yep, she so there's a few things that I'm thinking about when it comes to this clip, and I'm just curious what actually happened previously in the drive-thru, because going off of the context of this video, where the manager said that she didn't order the sandwich in the right way, because the moment they start inputting the order, the order's already being sent out to the front, and they're already starting to prep the food, I'm just sitting here questioning, if that's truly how that system works, why does it work like that? Why would the order already be sent through before it's even confirmed? Or did someone else stuff up and accidentally auto-confirm the item before they actually finish hearing out the customer or the customer moved down to the next item? By I can genuinely understand the manager's upsetness at the person if they actually treat them like trash beforehand, but based upon what we see in the clip, as well as how the manager describes the situation here, it just seems like a really stupid system this fast food place has, where before the order's even confirmed, if it's being inputted into the computer, it's automatically sent to the front. By... Uh, weird. In his next clip, we got a guy who makes the perfect excuse on why he was trying to trespass and break into someone's house. You climb over? Yeah. Are you recording me? You trying to break into my house? No, I was sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Yeah. Bro, if I... If you, you, know, you know we have an alarm here too, right? That's why I'm leaving right now. <laughs> have I done anything? What are you trying to break into my house for? How many more guys you have? You climb over. I don't know how I even got here. I want to see you. Uh, 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 I want to see you leave. Okay. 
Okay, can you open this for me? No, you climb over, you're gonna climb over. Are you recording me? Of course. Oh, if you, if you do record me and I see it on Facebook, I'm gonna see you guys. Uh, sorry, I broke into your house. I just kidding. I'm breaking into your house. I don't know how I even got in. Oh, uh, hi. I have someone that's climbing my backyard and walk around my backyard right now. He climbed back out the backyard. I'm sorry, but <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What in the it's just like why are you breaking my yard? Uh, I don't know how I got here. I was sleepwalking <laughs> Just like out of all of your reasonings all the things you're gonna out of all of the things your mind will list on why you're here your Instinctive one to roll for is your sleepwalking The fuck that don't fly that don't work <laughs> Good God, man. Think better next time for your reasoning. Good God. Here we are dropped in the aftermath of a very uh, chaotic situation where we watched this guy put his shirt back on, which makes me question what happened beforehand. Basically, there seems to be a conflict between a customer and whom seems to be the manager of this store. Okay, Steven. Okay, this shirt is the store. Sir, get out of your store. This is your store? Well, if this is your store, you don't have to run the store. They find over her door. Yeah. What are you going to do, bro? Get out of my store. Oh, because you got somebody standing in front of you? Watch out, bro. Huh? Oh, no, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Are you good, though? I'm good. I'm good. Let me tell you something. What? Get out of my you store. You touch me, you die. You're not gonna. I'm not gonna walk my story. I'm. Oh, what the? Uh, f you mean? Get out my story, bro. I say seems to be because the guy who looks to be the manager also looks quite young. So if he is that young and also is the manager, then a uh, good job on your career moves, unless you got put in that position by family. Either way, that's not really what matters here. It honestly seems like there's some form of situation here where the customer was not happy for one reason or another. The manager tried to solve the situation, but didn't work out and a fight clearly ensued at some point or came close to ensuing potentially. I don't know. This, the, the entire, I, I just wish we had more from what happened before the clip itself that we got given here. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And hey, the guy goes for one last good push on his way out, which is, entertaining and also kind of sucks to be the guy who got pushed because it's just like you don't want to resort to violence especially when the guy is threatening like you touch me i'll kill you and i'm going to touch you first even though you're not doing so to me in this next clip we have a kevin who got pulled over for having their phone in their hand whilst driving it's not quite happy about that fact how you doing sir the reason i'm stopping judge you judge williams judge i don't why did you stop me? you had your cell phone in your hand I had my phone like this. Yeah. I just lost it. I was just okay. looking for it. Pulled it up like this. Was okay. not on it. I just looked in the car. Go up and look. Okay, why are you screaming at me? Sir, I you wasn't doing anything. Insurance. You have your license registration proof insurance? I wasn't doing anything okay. wrong. You have your license registration proof insurance? I'm not going to give you my license registration. You I wasn't doing anything wrong. You cannot have a handheld. I had my phone just like this. I was that not on my phone. And what state was it in? You cannot have a handheld cell phone. And you all aren't ever on yours, right? You're never on yours. I drive by a lot of times and y'all are on yours. You're never on yours, right? Okay, I don't understand you're why you're yelling at me. You're never on yours. Why are you yelling at me, sir? I said, you're never on yours. Why are you yours. yelling at me? I'm not, I'm not yelling at you. Yes, you have been. I've never raised my Let voice to you. Let me tell you something. You all are on yours. I was not talking about If you read the code, the code says that if we're Here. conducting official business, Thank you can be on it. I just don't know why you're no, yelling no. at me. No, not on official business. Okay. Here. Thank you, sir. I, what what's why are you uh, so uptight? Huh? Go and give me a ticket. What's Go going ahead. on? Give me a ticket. Why are you so shaky? What's going on? I'm irritated because you pulled me over for no reason. You had your cell phone in your hand. I picked up my cell phone because I had it lost. Okay. I pulled it up here and I was had my hand on it here. Okay. To put it in here. You That's know the what law. You, saw. Though. you know the law. So what? What if I have a cup in my hand? You you can't have a cell phone in the state of West Virginia in your hand. Give me a ticket. I don't. Write me a ticket. I just don't understand why you're. Go give me a ticket. Write me a ticket. 
and I'll take it up to the town office, and I'll go to trial. But give me a ticket. Go ahead. It's ridiculous what you're doing. How is it ridiculous? It's ridiculous. That you had yourself in your you, you all have yours. I've seen it many times. Y'all have yours, and you don't get pulled over. And it, tell me, don't tell me it's on official business. I hear your cases every day in court. Okay, what's that Go mean? Give me a ticket. Give me a ticket. Come on, give me a ticket. I'm really don't... irritated about this whole... Go ahead and give me a ticket. But why are you being like this to me? I've never done nothing to you in my whole life. You just pulled me over for no because reason. Because you had yourself on your hand. Pulled me over for no reason. Give you had yourself on your hand. Okay. Uh, you can break me a ticket or not. I don't care. I'll take it up to town. We'll go to a trial, buddy. That's fine with me. And I tell you what, the next time I see any of you on the phone, I'm stopping right there and call the state police. Any of you. Okay. This is how I had my phone. I reached down and got it under my seat. I pulled it up here and I was driving like this. I was not talking on it. You can look. You can look when you pulled me over. See whether I was on my phone. Why are you being like this? I'm being it because I've seen this crap enough. And I'm tired Here's of it. Here you go. Here's your license and privilege privilege insurance. Give it to me. Let me have my license now. Also, you need to go get your license up to date because they're expired, okay? A very interesting clip, that one to for sure. I would personally, if I was a police officer, just be done with it, grab the ticket and be done with it instead of trying to get some more information out of this guy because clearly he's a bit upset, irritated, all these other things. He's just going to cause you issues if you try to press anything. Here we get dropped into another argument between people, but this time it's a bicyclist and an elderly man on the sidewalk. And we do actually have some information to make sense of what happened prior to this. Basically, the guy behind the camera is riding down this footpath, and the elderly man is not happy with that because it's potentially illegal or not allowed in wherever they're currently situated. Either way, here's the clip. Why you, are you, you really want yourself to go all over the internet like that because that's what's happening. What do you want you to be? I'll put you on. I'm not too. doing what you're doing, sir. No, you're, you're riding on the sidewalk oh, illegally. And what are you okay? doing? You're yelling at me, swearing at me, waiting for me to come down the sidewalk, and I'm going literally like two miles an hour. It doesn't matter. You're not supposed to be on the sidewalk of the motor scooter. Dude, it's not a motor scooter. Dude, it's a bicycle. You're not supposed to be on the, the thing with the, on the sidewalk. Give me that. Whoa! Yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me or I'm gonna be beaten up. Ooh. Whoa! 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 You just assaulted me, sir. I, I did not. Yes, you did. You just assaulted me. You just touched me. You just touched me. Whoa! You just assaulted me. I have that on video. I have that on video, sir. Sir. I'm thinking about calling the cops on you, dude, okay. and I will press charges against you. Do people just forget that uh, whacking someone's phone out of their hand is still, by definition, assault? Because you're going up to them and you're whacking their phone? By doing that, you're potentially hitting their hand, you're knocking the phone out of their hands towards their body, and depending on the type of phone it is, that could actually hurt. Probably not much, but, you know, it still is assault to a degree. It's buddy. Do you not understand that? And again, the second thing here, it depends on which town slash city they're currently in. Because from memory, what I've read up about the bicycle riding laws in America, it changes city by city. Like, for example, in New York City, you shouldn't be riding bikes on footpaths. You should be riding them on the side of the road or on the road themselves, but never on the footpath things along those lines it seems to be similar in a majority of the major major dense cities in america but not all of them it could be different here either way this is not how you treat a situation where someone's doing something you're not happy with you definitely don't knock someone's phone out of their hand especially when they record in this next clip we got a pair of people who decide to confront a lady for parking in the disabled car park for not having a visible disability what you just asked me what where's my handicap sticker First of all, why does it matter to you? I'm not being rude. It's a handicap stick. First of all, you don't know what my disability is, okay? You don't know what my disability is. So for you, so for you to question what my disability is, you are out of line. And you don't tell me that I don't have sticker in my sticker on your car bring your come 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 come
And now I apologize. Now I apologize. No, no. You sorry for what? You're sorry for what? I don't have to. It's in my car. My damn business get in my face. Get the out of my face. Get out of my face. Piece of. And ma'am, you need to mind your business. You don't know what the my disability is. You mean people like me? No, don't walk up on me. Don't, don't, don't you mean people like me? No, no. Y'all were wrong. You were wrong. Man, I do that. Yeah, you know, you hang it on. You, you to be quiet. You just don't fucking be. And I was just saying. You shouldn't have said to me. You shouldn't have said to me. That's the fucking problem. Man, your business. I need it. Obviously, I parked there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to make y'all famous today. I'm going to make you famous today. I'm handicapped. You don't know what my disability is. I got the sticker for a reason. You don't know if I have seizures. What if I fall out before I get to the door? No, because you need to mind your business. You need to go. Say something to them. Say something to them. No, I don't have to fucking leave. I don't have to leave. And I'm going to put y'all on TikTok and the news and everywhere else. Go ahead. Because you don't even know who I am. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm another what? I'm another what? Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't fucking exist. That's not how the world works. I thought we made this goddamn clear not that long ago. Just because their disability isn't visible to you on the surface doesn't mean they don't have a disability. God. I, I don't get these people. It's like, oh, your leg's not broken? Oh, you have the ability to walk normally like a normal person? You look completely normal? Then you're not disabled. You're not allowed to park in a disabled car park. Oh, you got the disability sticker? You obviously lied to get that. Like, the, the logic of these people is fucking dumb. Like, they don't think correctly. They're just like, no, if you don't visibly look disabled, then you should not be parking in a disabled spot. And if you have a disabled sticker, then obviously you lied your way to get said disabled sticker. Goddamn, people are just... Such assholes to others, like God.